Good morning everyone. It has been a long time, but today I got 12.3 and want to try it out since I was heading to the coffee shop anyway. So, um, let's turn this off, it's probably loud. Um, so right here, it's already going a little fast. I would say probably slow down to 20, and I don't know why it went to 10, but, um, yeah, so this one is supposed to be the big one. Uh, so we'll see what happens. Um, okay, it, um, that's, it just, ah, uh, man, stuff like that frustrates me, and some people say, oh, that's fine, but I, it stopped a second time in the intersection. Hey, one plus is it's staying on the right side of the road instead of in the middle. So, I mean, even if that's the only improvement, then that's a good thing. All right. Keep going up. Very hesitant there. Uh, it should have stopped a little further forward, really, so I could see. Kind of weird angles there. Okay, so I don't usually go this way, but when I do, it always wants to stop for the stop sign that is actually for the road right next to me, which comes down the hill. Um, so it looks like, yep, yep, nope, it still wants to stop for that stop sign, and, uh, <laughs> uh, I hope it learns, because that's really annoying, that stop sign is not for me. I mean, this isn't a long drive, so, you know, I I would hope I can get to the coffee shop without any issues, but so far, um, yeah, it wants to stop for that stop sign. I hit the accelerator to get it to keep going because it shouldn't stop there. turn is much smoother. That, um, for a long time, I'd say the entire version 11, um, branch, uh, that turn has been super jerky. Uh, it was smooth a long time ago, um, so we're just kind of back to where it was. Now, version 11, at this red light, would not creep forward and go on red. It would just stop and wait till it turned green. Um, now it's a very blind left. I mean, I can't see anything yet, even with the bushes cut down. Okay. That, that's very good, very good. Okay.
and okay good it went into the left lane instead of into the right and then swerving over lane selection so far is better I mean you know like I said this is a very short trip but um, take any wins I can get version 11 has been so bad 4.9 um, it's been so bad that I just haven't been using FSD as much and I haven't made videos in months it keeps letting off the brake a little bit um, Wiggling forward, not sure what that was about. It did do a good job, though. It stopped back at the line. So the, the stop line's actually back quite a bit from the crosswalk because people who are making a left turn onto this road, there's not enough room. Um, so they put the, the stop line back quite a bit. All right, so should put me into the right lane that is very good so that's um that's new i don't think it's going to pull me into the parking lot or maybe it is um okay is it going to park me somewhere don't know exactly what it's doing okay so it pulled me in the parking lot and just stopped me up here I don't know where it's where it's taking me um, okay we're going around and nope, this is okay <laughs> it's gonna take me behind the building uh, so yeah I mean nothing bad bad but it is stopping for that one stop sign still and hopefully it learns so that's it for this. Um, I'll record some more when I get done. All right, so I'm pulling out of the parking lot here. I'm gonna go ahead and enable FSD and see if it will actually pull out. Um, no, it was gonna turn left. This is a one-way street. Okay, so. Obviously, one out of the parking lot's not a good idea. Um, um, so actually, I want to go this way. Um, yeah, that was my fault. I so I had originally set up my route while I was parked, and then um, I was doing a couple things, and I guess it rerouted. Uh, so yeah, it originally had me going this way, which is what I want. Um, no, it was going to turn left. This is a one way street. So let's see if I can, uh, I'm going to go this way. Yeah, so it had changed my route while I was... Uh, parked for a little bit uh, checking my sentry footage which um, if you're on X you would have already seen I posted this clip of the Easter Bunny All right, I really like, uh, this is the second time it's happened. It put me into the correct lane right away. Um, that's a good thing. Um, lane selection has been really poor for a long time. 
Um, so if it fixes lane selection, that's great. Alright, so this is not a turn. Don't know why it uses the turn signal there. Um, it's always done that there for some reason. It's got to be map data. On the map, it does look like a turn on the navigation. Um, let's see. So it slowed down quite a bit for that curve. Um, it's never done that before. It's always, you know, stayed at the speed I have it set for that curve, um, this curve. Um, I mean, it's fine. Uh, I just, I would never slow down to 38 there. Okay, great smooth turn. Um, so, yeah, it's actually, that was great. Um, it thought the speed limit was 40, um, which, um, hmm, I'm, I'm not sure if it technically is right there, but the 25 speed limit was coming up and it had me at 25. And even right now, it has the max at 28, but it's going 26, um, which is good. I mean, that, that truck was going way too fast for this road. Um, so, fun fact, one of the two speed limit uh, speeding tickets I got was on this road when I was uh, 16, uh, right after I got my license. Um, but typically, the cops are patrolling this road pretty often um so i mean you know some people like to speed i don't it's good that the car doesn't all right so i've got to get rid of this stop so right there was where my 
my waypoint was. I didn't remove it quickly enough. Um, great job getting in the correct lane right away. Yeah, and right here, you know, usually the max speed is 28. It would just jump right up to 28. Um, even though 28 is a bit too fast for this road, it's actually going 24, which is right where I, I like it to be. 25 max. Um, I mean, it's... That is excellent. The fact that it's going a little slower because of the type of road and the fact that you can't see around curves and around cars um, that's great I mean 22 is super comfortable on this road this feels perfect I don't think it's too slow going 20 right here I mean you can't really see around these parked cars in this curve so it's good to slow down um, I mean, it feels super smooth, and then it speeds up in this straight section, and then slowing back down and uh, being extra careful as it goes around these cars. Now we've got a big Yukon coming toward us, um, and we should you know, just slow way down, be careful. Oh, uh, this, it's not, it's not doing any jerky, harsh braking as a car approaches. Um, 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 okay, that was a little, a little wide, but it's staying to the right, which is good. So I didn't have to take over there for that oncoming car. Um, nice, careful here, and it's not flooring it to get up to... 28 miles per hour so I'm not having to adjust my speed my max speed usually on this road I'm frantically trying to get it to jump back down to 18 or 19 miles per hour um, we've got this truck here um, he's been parking in the road as they work on this house and yeah I mean before it would just slam on the brakes and it would also stay in the middle of the road until right as it approached the car which was super annoying um, and, uh, yeah, we'll go, um, uh, back toward the school. Um, and this is just, for the first time, I'm not hitting the brake, because normally it tries to jump up to 33 miles per hour here, and you don't want to go over 20. I mean... Right now, 17, 17 is perfect for this spot right here. Now, once you get up here where there are lines on the road, you know, you can speed up. And so normally I'd have to scroll it way down or hit the brakes because it went up too fast. Or I'd have to, um, and then when I get to here, I have to scroll it back up because it won't speed back up. So this is great. Thank you for watching and... See you on the next one.